guys, uh, I'll be doing something a little bit different here for uh, the next couple videos, or most of the next couple videos. I'm um, taking a slight hiatus from Heroes. With all the different things that I've posted lately, I'm at a point where I honestly don't know what I want to run in the deck. You know, do I do I go Miracle Route? Do I go Stun Route? Do I go Macro Route? Uh, Every one is absolutely awesome uh, in the meta. They all just play so differently, and I can't really make up my mind. So I got tired of beating myself up over figuring out which build I wanted to play. I decided to do something different. Um, I've always wanted to have more than one deck built anyways. Uh, so I had done Chaos Dragons, uh, as I had posted in my Revolu or Evolution of Chaos Dragons video forever ago. Um, I had been playing the deck before it got big, but I had finally finished all of it with the tour guides and whatnot after Battle Packs release, and ended up uh, selling the core of it to a friend of mine that was getting back into the game. Um... So I was back to the drawing boards again, and I ended up picking Samurai. So I have three videos I'm going to upload for you guys. This is the first one. It's more of a standard build. Um, I mean, Samurai, in terms of a standard build, there's not a lot of differences between them, so don't expect to see anything too crazy in this one. Um, there's a Turbo build. It's actually what got me into Samurai was when I built Turbo. Uh, I should have the rest of the stuff for it here this week. Um... Once I have that together, I'll do a video on that one. And then there's also an absolutely ridiculous, crazy, like, it, insane Samurai build. Um, I don't think it's uh, efficient enough, uh, but it's one of those decks that when it goes off, it's like auto, auto win more than Samurai can auto win when they go off. Like, that build makes the most busted hand in regular Samurai decks where you open, like, Beast Barking on Gian look bad. Um, but I'll probably just do a DN video on that one to show you guys how it works. Um, but with that being said, I'll go ahead and start with the Samurai video number one, the standard build. Um, I start off with Triple Kaigeki. Uh, I know a lot of people only play two, some only play one. Uh, I think he's absolutely fundamental to the deck. The more often I open with him, uh, the less I have to search for him and the better plays I can typically make. Um, especially with Sheehan being able to boost him to 3500, or Shadow Sheehan. Um, he has a really fundamental role in the deck more, uh, more now than he did even as being himself to explode into the synchros. Um, Triple Kagamusha, uh, I really wish you could run like five or six of this card. I, I never have enough of this guy. Uh, staple stuff, Triple Kizan, Double Elder, uh, One Grandmaster, um, Zanji and Inishi as asceticism targets. Well, I guess technically it's not a target, but asceticism bait. Uh, and one squire for the dojo. Uh, that rounds out our samurai monsters. And then we have five other techs. Uh, first one is Grand Mole. Um, it just gets over stuff that the deck may have problems with. Uh, and if all else fails, he's a three-star earth, which means you can go into beast with him. And then five hand traps. Triple effect failure and double maxi. One of the things that I honestly love most about this deck is the ability to main all five of these. Um, you're never really going to have a bad matchup with these, uh, even against like the hero matchup and whatnot. Max C is at least still going to one-for-one itself off Miracle Fusion or Monster Reborn. Uh, hopefully Effect Veiler is going to be there for Blade Armor Ninja uh, or whatnot. So they're, they're never dead against some of those matchups. They may be easy side-outs. Um, but they make sure you're never at a disadvantage in game one, especially against things like wind-ups or insectors. On to spells, Gateway of the Broken, Triple United, Double Dojo, Reinforcement, and Double Smoke Signal. Uh, triple Asceticism. Uh, I've seen a lot of builds that typically I see it being played in twos. Three is fundamental. Uh, it's it's sort of keying into that turbo fundamental that I started playing the deck with before I built this more standard version. Uh, and I stuck with the triple asceticism. I, I can't see myself not running three. Uh, the staple trio for this particular build, Mind Control, Heavy Storm, and Monster Reborn. And then the final two spells are Double Forbidden Lance. Now, this is probably the only thing you haven't really seen in Samurai before. Um, I know I've never seen it until I got the idea to run it. Uh, but I got really tired of having, you know, to, to waste my Sheen Negate on Bottomless or Torrential when he summoned. Um... I found myself losing my beast to Torrentials and uh, Mirror Forces and D-Prisons and Bottomlesses and things way too often. Um, 
you know. So when they go to, to stop that Naturia beast, and I'm like, Lance, I'm like, fuck. Um, and that's typically a huge turning point when, when they expect to, to be able to stop beast and then you Lance it. Um, and it really comes back to bite them in the ass. Uh, absolutely awesome card in the deck. Almost worth playing three, but uh, I would rather keep my last two spots in the deck as the Compulse. They're chainable. They get rid of things I have trouble with. I mean, Compulse is just an all-around awesome card. Um, onto the extra deck. I absolutely hate the extra deck for this particular deck because there's so much that you need to be able to do with it or want to be able to do with it and not enough room for it. Um, so this is all going to be changing again come August once we get Excalibur. He will definitely be in here. Uh, I'm back and forth with making room for his Zen mains in here. Um... But anyways, the 15 that we're running at the moment, we have three fives. We've got Sheehan, Beast, and Cataster, all pretty much staple. Uh, our level sixes, we've got Barkeon and Bryo, again, pretty much staple. Uh, in this particular build, sevens aren't uh, as fundamental, but when they need to be there, they can be there. Uh, first off is Landois, which is awesome. He has a much bigger impact in the turbo build that I'll be showing you guys here pretty soon. And a Black Rose Dragon, just for when shit hits the fan. Uh, exceeds. This is where the deck really starts to have problems in, uh, in room. For threes, we've got Leviathan, Temtempo, and Acid Golem. Uh, another beat stick to help with the OTKs and whatnot. Uh, once you've set up, you can just end the setup with an Acid Golem for the 3k. Uh, if you didn't go into Sheen to boost the Kaigeki anyways. Uh, Temtempo helps you get over Zen mains more than anything. Uh, and Leviathan is the reason why I'm thinking about Zen mains as well. Uh, there are times where you end up kind of opening crappy. I've done this multiple times with Elder and Kaigeki and like a Compulse. So your first turn play is Leviathan set Compulse. Uh, and sometimes depending on the matchup I feel like I want that to be a Zen mains. Um, to be a little defensive more than offensive but uh, for now those are our three ranked threes. For fours we have Shadow Sheehan opens up uh, let's see off the top of my head I can think of at least two solid OTKs that he helped set up that you couldn't do before without Sheehan. Uh, he works well. He puts counters on United and Dojo and Gateway and things as well. So there have been multiple times that I've wished I had two of this guy uh, in the extra deck. Um, but I feel like having four other rank four options rather than just three options to cut one to make room for another one isn't worth it. So we'll just go ahead and stick with the one. Uh, Utopia, Roach, Photon Assassin, and Maestroke. Um Maestro isn't as much there for being defensive as he is there for booking things that are bigger than our, like, 25 synchros, uh, so we can run things over. Photon Assassin is really just there for, like, Spirit Reaper to stop, like, the OTKs. Um, Roach for Chaos Dragons. Uh, Utopia, I kind of feel like staple. There are some times where, you know, you're only out as to pray they don't have mind control for Utopia, so you can negate some attacks while you try and build back up an advantage or, or top deck something worthwhile. Um, so I went ahead and kept the Utopia in there, even though, really, I I don't think I've ever summoned him with the deck. I'd just rather have him and not need him. Um, as for the side deck, this is really Dragon Hate orientated. Um, dragons, I think, are the deck's hardest matchup. All of our spell and, spell and trap negation is next to worthless. Um, and they put out a lot of bigger beaters than we do. Um, so Lance serves a great purpose for trying to get over those as well. But comes games two and or three, you really need to be able to uh, to shut down that dragon deck. And some of this stuff is universal as well. So we start off with three more hand traps, DD Crows. Um, hits all the Chaos Dragon crap. It hits Hornet. Uh, so it stops Insectors. It also stops the wind-up loop. Um, so that's really awesome. Uh, and then double Iru. Uh, I absolutely hate running into Raikou with Beast and Shan. Um... Probably my biggest pet peeve with the deck, uh, especially with the massive amount of Chaos Dragons that there are. Um, so against that, I go into the heroes. I mean, there's still Samurai, which is awesome. You can still like Normal and then Special Year Kazans and all that jazz. Um, so Eero is just really solid. Uh, you noticed I didn't play Dark Hole in the main. I side it only for if I'm like going second. Um, triple Soul Taker for obvious reasons. Triple MST for that back row hate. Uh, if they get skill drain active before I can do anything, uh, that's really problematic. Uh, close Forest, because I hate Dark Worlds. Depending on how awesome the Seal of Ori Calcos is, that may become a Seal of Ori Calcos. Uh, and finally, Double Bottomless, because it's really solid against a lot of matchups. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll hit you back with the rest of those Samurai videos. Peace out.